So chapter 13 is on properties of mixtures. Uh, so we'll talk about solutions and then colloids. So we build on a lot of the information that we learned in chapter 12 on intermolecular forces between two of the same molecules. And we'll ask what happens when we start mixing different things together and we make solutions. So five skills, again, for this chapter. Uh, the first is really just a qualitative understanding of solution formation. So we'll talk about D and S words, so making sure we understand the difference between um, dissolving and dissociating, about making a solution and uh, words like solute and solvent, uh, and solubility and solvated, so we'll make sure that we've got some terminology down. But then also thinking about the energetics of solution formation, so what has to happen when we make a solution. So again, qualitative aspects of uh, forming a solution. Then we'll think about quantitative aspects of solubility and thinking about concentration and, and uh, how we take and uh, make a saturated solution, for example. A big part of this chapter is actually thinking about how we think about uh, concentrations. So how do we calculate concentration? And you guys have probably been familiar with molarity, and up to this point, that's probably been the only way that we've really talked about concentrations. But we've got many more ways that we can think about concentration. So we've got molarity, but we have molality. We have parts by mass, parts by volume, and then mole fraction, which can actually be mole fraction solute or mole fraction solvent. And knowing how and when to use these different concentrations um, in different problems is what we'll build on in this chapter. So again, continuing uh, with that, we'll talk about colligative properties. And so colligative properties has to do with how physical properties of a solution, like bo boiling point and melting point, how they change when you mix things together and make a solution. So not pure solvent, but now you add a solute and make a solution. So things like boiling point elevation and freezing point depression, and how you actually calculate uh, how much a solution will decrease in its melting point or increase in its boiling point. And a lot of this has to do with why we use salt in a lot of solutions, whether it's melting ice that's outside or adding salts to uh, your pasta. We'll talk about what's actually involved in it on a molecular level and then actually do some quantitative aspects of colligative properties and doing those calculations. So again, to summarize what this chapter is about, Five skills, so qualitative understanding of making mixtures and thinking about the energetics of what happens when we mix solutions together. Quantitative aspects of solubility and concentration. Big piece is how we calculate concentration. And then the last two skills are thinking about colligative properties. First, qualitatively, what happens when we mix a solution together and what happens to those physical properties. And then the last kind of really meaty piece is putting two parts of these together thinking about concentrations and thinking about colligative properties and how we can quantitatively determine how properties like melting point and boiling point will change as we make solutions. So pretty uh, intense chapter, kind of building on what we learned in chapter 12.